Hi, once again, welcome to the Big Three Podcast here at the VPN Studios in Culver City, California. Tell me what your name is. Tell, do your name. What's that? Go, go, my name is. Well, I was about to do that. Hi, I'm your pal Don. Hey, my name is Maul. My name is Scary Perry. Yeah. Together we are the Big, Big Three. Three. Well, welcome once again. Hey, listen, uh, <clears throat> here's another one of our once a month Big Three podcasts from the VPN studios. We're very glad to be here. and We've got a great show for you today. Uh, I'm just curious to ask, a, can I just ask a question? Why does it say live standby? doesn't say live standby. It says live. Please stand yeah, by. Yeah, but I'm just wondering if we're on the air. We went back to the other thing. Yeah. We can't see ourselves anymore? Let me ask you this. Like, during the show, will Norm McDonald be able to see his screen? No, we just get them information. They kind of got, they, get, they went away from that. And we're going to try something new. We're going to focus on here and now. And listen, don't even worry about what's, what's happening. Whoa, a lot of things have changed in a month. Yeah, all the clips are gone. Oh, how cool is that? Well, listen, we're very glad to be here, as I said. Uh, and if you don't know who we are, we are originally got together and we did the cult film classic Windy City Heat, uh, where Perry was kind of the star. Uh, we've had a, totally. pod a podcast of our own for two and a half years, which became one of the most popular podcasts. And now we're trying to make it here at VPN. We're kind of the evil stepchild here. We're evil? Uh, well, I don't know if we're evil. We're just at the bottom of the VPN Scare Masters Actually, at the power Actually, I bottom. think we're the start of the VPN because we went to, uh, uh, what's his name, flew us out to Salt Lake City to announce VPN right. entering the internet. And we had, so we're, I wouldn't call us at the bottom. I'd call us the introducers of uh, this. I'd say this. we're the introducers. Oh, I think if that's what we're called, we're the introducers of the B VPN. So anyway, as I said. What was that song the introducers did? Hmm. I don't remember. There's no such for band. Now, if you... Have some questions or you want to make some comment. I hope that you're on live with us and you make a comment. And we've got something kind of special for the fans today because you're going to be part of the show with a little competition between this man, Mole, and this man, Scary Perry. So look what did I do? You didn't do anything as of yet. You, now we're in a, now I'm in a competition with this guy over here. Yeah, we're, can, we, can we start off by a gift that no, I got in the no, mail? No, you cannot. Him? No, you cannot. You, because some guy sent you some cow shit or what was it? It says gorilla, gorilla crap. Oh, on that's right. fun. On right. the uh, it's like gorilla munch. <clears throat> I don't know if it's for real or what because there's no smell. Open, in the bag. master. I'm not opening it. Here, Dan makes makes. Oh, yeah. Have Scare Master make sure it's okay. I'm not smelling it. Taste this. Taste it? What do you think this is, Cheech and Chong? Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's just some of the funny you're going to be seeing today on the show. Uh, I would like to start out, because we do have some video clips here. Now, if you're not familiar with this guy, uh, William Randolph Hearst is a guy that, uh, he was kind of a big fan of the big three. He actually... His publication company owned Vice Magazine. They put us on the cover of Vice Magazine. Well, something crazy happened. He got in a fight with Perry when we went to Sundance with VPN, and he tried to pay Perry some money, and Perry screwed him over. And so since then, he has been trying to get his money back. Well, I'm not saying a word because I'm I'm going to let you finish talking, and then I'm going to speak. Okay, but well, I'm just saying ahead. this. I'm just finish, telling you, I'm I'm telling you the story, and I'll let you say what you have to say. And anyway, so William Randolph Hearst uh, challenged Perry to a fight. Correct? Go on. Well, and I think he was a little frightened because you started showing off online that you're originally leg pressing a thousand pounds what that, when that came out you made a statement that in four to five weeks you would double that how much does that make that would be two grand two thousand I'll, I'll leg press two thousand pounds by by the end of june why whoa that's pretty it's freaking not hard. a problem for me and these two guys are going to fight. Now, this is because they both have neck injuries. It's a, it's a fight where everything has to be hit from the neck, below the neck, I should say. And I don't know when this fight is happening, but William Randolph Hearst has been making the rounds trying to get into other podcasts and talk about what's going on. He actually made a stop at a couple podcasts while he was here in town in Los Angeles. 
why don't we uh, start out today? This is from William Randolph Hearst. He sent this to me, asked us to play this. So if you would. Well, I heard Perry's leg pressing 2,000 pounds Perry's now. That's two Harley Davidson motorbikes. I'm Harley gonna go Davidson on a few podcasts motorbike. around the area, trying to get him to come out and, and just talk about this and just give me my money back. And then I'm gonna go to the comedy store. I heard he might be there tonight and just say, Perry, just give me the money. God, I don't want to do this fight. Hey guys! Wow! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing down here in Los Angeles? Uh, it's it's such a long story. I'll try to keep it short. I don't know if you're familiar with Scary Perry, but he had a thing on a one of the biggest podcasts in the world, much bigger than yours. It's called the Big Three Podcast, and he had a thing called Perry's Movie Time, which was way bigger than anything you've ever done. Anyway, I I knew that that the buzz, you know, Sundance things get lost easy, and I gave him fifty bucks and said promote my film. He gets up on stage. It was a VPN thing. And he goes, I don't know what it's called. Uh, uh, and he forgot the name. He didn't mention the director, nothing. The film tanked. My career's fucked now. So we have this legacy. I can't let that go. So I challenge him to a fight. But the guy is just getting bigger and bigger. He's, he's up leg pressing almost 2,000 pounds. Why did oh. you choose the leg fight? We both have problems with our necks. C4, C5. I've had pins in my C6. Yeah. I'm going to go to the Ding Dong show later and try to get my 50 bucks because... I don't want to fight. Thanks, guys. I think we wrapped it up. Whoa, 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 comedy store. It's right here. Pull over. Pull over. Stop the music. Stop the music. In a way, that is kind of true. Because it's your arrogance. <laughs> All right, we'll get to more of that a little later. Uh, there's something that's kind of bothering me here, though. I'll be honest with you. Come on up here for a second. Move your hand up first. Hi. So why are you here? I was here to find Perry. I was hoping I would get 50 bucks. Is he not He's coming? Not, he never comes here. Now, have you backed out? I can't back out. That's a Hearst thing. When you commit, you can't back out. But when I saw that leg press, I thought, this guy's going to put his foot right through my body. A yeah. thousand pounds. Four to five weeks, it's going to be 2,000. Give a nice hand. William Randolph Hearst. Everybody. Thank you. William Randolph Hearst. And my therapist said, uh, I think you want to be Perry's friend. I think you idolize him, and you want to fight him to get close to him. I said, what, like on some gay shit? Because he's not gay. It's a weird theory. I mean, I don't get psychology, but he is something else. First response. Did you hear where he said, um, I'm not fighting him? No, he said he's going to fight. No, he said I'm not fighting him. No, he said he's earlier going to fight. in the tape he says I'm not fighting him. With after after finding out that he's going to be pressing two thousand pounds, five weeks. Well, I'm I'm not fighting him. I am going to. You're say not going to fight him, Scaremaster. No, he. But, but by William the, Randolph first says I'm not fighting him if he's going to be doing two two thousand pounds in, in five weeks. I see him doing a thousand pounds now. It scares the shit out of me. Do you think you can beat him? Easy. Really? Well, we got to set up a date that you guys fight. I thought you guys were going to fight today. That never happened. <sighs> I would prefer, personally, yeah. to not have this fight happen because of my neck as well as his neck. Well, it, you That's both why have it's all stomach problems. punches. Yeah, it's all beneath the neck. It's all stomach punches. I can't. I, uh, this arm is fucking dead. Well, he, this arm is weaker than shit. Well, here's what's going to happen. When you do fight, I'll tell you this. You've got two guys in your corner. And two grand that you're lifting. Yeah, you got myself and Mole. We're gonna be in your corner. We're gonna do everything we can to help you win this thing. Can we? Can we get start getting you bulked up with some chili over at your apartment? Maybe maybe make some what? chili. You're not coming to my new place. We go to your new place. You're not. We make chili. You're not. We start training you. We show up in the morning. It's called basic training. It's called. I'm not saying a word. Why? We were on a podcast. You we have got to a video say. podcast. I'm not saying shit. Well, if you're gonna get a talk, I'm done talking. Don't get into that video. Done Act talking. out. Pantomime. Pantomime. The art of the pantomime. Perry, you're not going to say anything? He doesn't need to. He's Italian. Watch. He can act with his eyes. All right. Well, well I, 
I can't believe this bullshit. Well, all right, let's come back to him. I noticed you have your hat. Now, one yeah. of the things about your hat is you always have little surprises Oh, in yeah, the what's pocket. in Mo's pocket in this hat? What's, it's diamond play. What's <laughs> in, in the Mo's? pocket of Mo's hat than the hat that he what got when we went to the Sundance and the guy gave me okay. the hat? What is the official title of this segment? I think that was it. What's in Mo's hat that he got when he was at Sundance Film Festival? And that guy gave me the hat. Okay. All right, well, what is in today's hat? Pocket. This is exciting. It's a piece of mento sugarless gum. Mento sugarless gum. The sugarless gum that I've got in my pocket. Mentos. It's sugarless and it's pure white, like hmm. a racist. It oh, seems. Yeah. Are they our sponsor? Yeah, 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 it does yeah, seem that yeah, you're yeah, pushing yeah. that and you help. Are they our product. sponsor? Are you making Listen, any money How on good it's. Are yeah. they our sponsor? Yeah, what do you mean? Are they our sponsor? Are your narcotics and Are they our sponsor? Exactly. If not, what you just did was illegal. What do you mean? By using them, by using a, a company that you have not had as a sponsor for our show. Yeah. That's illegal. What to say? It's delicious. No, to, to, to listen. How delicious it is when I chew it. Nah, nah, Two quick nah, questions. Nah, nah. Why is the hat on your chest? What does it doesn't your hat? fit? Okay, number one. Here, I'm, I'm gonna it. no. I'm gonna stop I'll wearing it. my hats. Why? It looks great the, on you, dude. At the it's show, your... I gotta wear the fucking headphones. Unless I put the headphones on like this, and they don't stay on my on my neck. So try to put the headphones over the hat. There you go. That's good. Well, at least you're talking again. That's good. And the second thing is, when are we making mm -hmm. chili and getting you training? You're your not apartment? coming to this new house. Can I put? Can I just paint a word picture for one second? Morning, you wake up. Dan and I are there train you. We take you out. Impossible. Just like Rocky, just like Rocky, except it's Reseda da, 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 instead da, da, of Philadelphia. Da, 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 da. And Wait you're a minute, up, oh hold God. everything. You say Reseda, but you have said that you may be moving. I move. Where I do you want to live? All right, here. It's, let me, let me explain something live? real quick, Perry. Real quick, so people understand. Uh, somehow, Perry's address got out, and a lot of people knew about his address. And it started. The world knows about my address. Right. Okay. Okay. And you started getting mad about that. That's a long time ago. I'm going to tell you what happened last week. That what was a long time there, ago. There was a fucking. There was a, a dipshit that th threw, not threw, that flushed a fucking diaper in her in her uh, toilet. I know this one from the third floor. I think it's a joke. Blocked, home. blocked the fucking. Uh, sewage pipes. So from the two apartments across from me, right, all the way to the street, all those apartments, they had to, they had to go into each and every apartment, yeah. dig up the 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 fucking sewage system, yeah. in every apartment. So there's they that my building, uh, Jeff, what's oh, his fight, Jeff Green, oh. the owner, oh, Jeff Green, Celtic, the owner of the fucking. Celtic. You know what's nice about this? I think this? he's the future of the, the team. Owner, listen he's to got me. the moves. And listen, I'll tell you what. It was Would scary. you it shut like the fuck gonna, up? I'm talking, motherfucker. I'm not joking, motherfucker. Do you shut your fucking mouth? Because you're good. You don't know how to shut the fuck up. I'm not shutting up. They have to give you money. Because you're an asshole. I am not shutting my mouth. Thank you. That's a great deal for everybody. What's a great deal? About how you're going to work at the sewer place. When what? you get thrown out, when something happens to an apartment, they have to pay you. They have to give you money to move. How much are they going to give to you? None of your business how much they're paying. Well, I mean, why? Because well, why this is. bring it up? I'm not asking where Do you want us to negotiate is. for you? I'd be more than happy. No. To. Why? Because you don't live there. You don't live there anymore either. What do you mean anymore? You just said you moved. I'm moving. When's the moving party? Hey, if you want to be part of a uh, Scare Master's moving party, come Nobody on down. Nobody is We're going to get a truck, pizzas, root Nobody beer. Nobody is allowed. Move all this stuff. And all the If anybody you can from eat. this fucking segment, this fucking show, shows up at my apartment, I will Are you talking about make... the two of us? Yeah, you But why not... are you having a moving party then? If there you is wanted... no moving party. You just party. said we're coming over to move. I am not just pizza, allowing. Root beer. We're all ago, moving stuff. Said, I am not allowing Who's anybody gonna move at my- credenza? From the place in Palm Springs, you got it. And why won't you tell us how much money you're getting from these people? They have to pay you a lot of money. It's none of your fucking business. And That's you, why. It's none of our business. What are you talking about? We're on a podcast, for God's sake. I don't give a fuck if I'm on the goddamn national TV show. No one knows how much I'm getting for anything. Can I interrupt for a second here? Of course. Scare Master, if I may. Um, 
we're going past, we, we're overlooking something very big here. A lot of memories in that apartment. Oh, a lot absolutely. of memories. First Looking time back you saw over Windy here. City Heat First time you there. saw Windy City Heat in that. Remember that time when um, Carrie Strug uh, oh. uh, broke broke her leg and, and went we for the gold? And you were talking about CPN how you wanted show. to make love to Dominic Monciano that same day? Fuck off, faggot! Yeah, well, listen. Why, is, why did you call him that? Because, oh, I want to make love to a guy? No, no that's, that's a, a, she's a, a woman. She was a, well, like a, a 12-year-old uh, gymnast on the USA. And you did say uh, that, and we have it on videotape. Anyway, but so many memory skimmers. Andy Dick, when he came that by with his assistant, oh, and he, and he shaved that. his testicles and bleeded blood. blood all over and your he had your HIV. That was HIV a terrible blood all over the place. Yeah. And that time you whipped Dan with the belt. Disgusting. I remember that. Remember, and the first time we had sausage dinner in there. I, I kind of threw up. I remember. You, Dan threw up the sausage. We made spaghetti for everybody. And our first chili cookout's going to happen there. Absolutely. There's first no chili cookout in this old Wait apartment. Wait a minute. How is that going to happen then? Because it's not going to. How about as a good? How about the not last the night? One. The last night we just blow it out. We get a, We finish sleep off over. the. There is no. There's over. nobody coming over to this. Why? No one. Why? Give me. Give us one reason. You're going to be gone. Because from there's no one allowed at my. I don't even allow any of the girls at my place anymore. When are you? Because of all the raw sewage. None of your business. You, you can't even tell us a date. You're no. Moving. Why? Because. Is it the end of this month? None of your business. Let us guess your new address, okay? <laughs> okay. Are you still in the Valley? Maybe. Okay. Is You're in it, Hollywood. Maybe. Is it the San Fernando Valley? Maybe. Mm, okay. This guy's mm, a tough nut. I know he is. Hmm. Look at me. Oh, his eyes aren't giving anything away. Canoga Park. Canoga Park. Canoga Park. That's where the mailbox is. Uh, but that's uh, why you want to move closer uh, to the mailbox. Very good, Mole. Good Maybe. thinking. Good okay. thinking, Okay, mole. so you want to get closer to your PO right, box. Who lives in Canoga Park that he would be going around with? Are you living by yourself this time? Always. Oh, all right. Okay, so you're looking at a condo. No, wait a second. No, I'm not. You're moving in with somebody? Sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm with her, or sometimes I'm with her. This is a girl. Of course. Whoa. Is this one of those fag hags? That's hate words, Dan. What did I say? It's no name Colin Week, dude. Fag hag. Good point. Well, Scaremaster, this sounds like a lot's going on in your life. They say one of the most stressful times is when you're moving. You seem a little stressed out. What are you eating during our show, just out of curiosity? What Mole handed me? Popcorn? It's the one. Actually, he, he tried to fake it like he was pouring coffee on me, so he. And then it fell over the it floor, so popcorn. <laughs> we scooped he put it, it back in there, and now you're eating it. He's hungry. Well, anyway, you know what? Hey, how would you guys like to make some money? I love to I'd love to money. make some money. Would you? Well, guess what? The good people over at What the Huck have given us a contest because they feel that Perry always acts a little better when there's money involved. So today we have a prize package worth, and if I may show, where's this camera over here? $500. Is that U.S. dollars? Yep. Yep. Sweet. U.S. dollars. Okay. Contest that I'm going to lose again. Why do you have such a negative Because I know how Mole Mole is just so damn good at these. Okay. These Dude, you know what? I'll ch- you know what I'll do? I'll hold my breath and I'll get my brain all messed up first. Don't don't Mole, don't do that. Mole, don't do that. Mole, stop. Mole. Mole. He'll win. But anyway. Okay, why look, do you got such a let, negative? Let, You're not gonna win if you have that negative attitude. Uh, all right, go well, on. Here, here's actually what Huck has said. Huck, the owner of What the Huck, has put up five hundred dollars for today's contest. Cool. Instead of Huck coming out with five trivia questions. He felt the fans, that would be you guys out there, you're going to come up with the questions. So go to the comment board right now and write some trivia questions that Perry can answer or Mole can answer. So, and Hmm. that's at YouTube, Big 3 Podcast page, or VPN Podcast page. Uh, Write a trivia question in the comment section. The first five questions we receive will be the questions used in the contest between Perry and And me. Okay, okay. The first person to come up with the correct answer for each question will receive $100. Mary Jane, could you go get some of those questions? Now, you know how this works. Any questions on this? Uh, I, I, well, I'm, I'm shocked that it was questions from the audience yeah. rather than... Uh, okay, well, I'm just telling you. Okay, okay. This seems a lot fairer, right? Yeah, a lot more fairer, yes. Okay. All right, Mary Jane will be in here hopefully soon. What else you guys been doing? Skim my show, right? No, my hands have been tight. 
then that is your bread and butter, man. You do not want to mess up with your hands because that's where you, that's, yeah, it's, that's your stuff. That's the cash register. Part of the, it's part of the neck surgery. Does the sore hand have anything to do with what day you're moving? No. Okay, so that's not a hint. Okay, if you could bring this over. Mary Jane, say, everybody say hi to Mary Jane. Hello, Mary Jane. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi, Mary Jane. She's looking as beautiful as always. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't a question for the qu right here. This is, hey, Mary Jane, how do you stay so pretty? Maybe you could answer that. I don't know. Thank you. Oh, that was Mary Jane, everybody. Thank you. Give her a nice hand. All right, you guys ready? Now, this is $100 for each correct answer, all right? Okay, here we go. All right, you Scam ready? Scam Master, good luck, bud. Okay. Right. Come on, get it in. Get in. All right, on this date, April 28, 1945, the former dictator of Italy and Italian coward was shot to death by his own people as he and his mistress attempted to flee. Benito Mussolini. I was just going to, yeah, I should have said Mussolini. Well, you were. there's $100 for you. Next question. In night, oh, let me see here. In 1976, who was the singer-songwriter who released the song "Year of the Cat"? Al Stewart. Al Stewart is we right. just talked about him. Yeah. yeah. The, last, okay. the other podcast. Okay. Summer is one of how many seasons? Four. One. Four seasons, not four one. Four seasons. Uh, four seasons. Okay. There's one for There's you. more than one season, yeah, Skirmish, but no, in Southern California, they say In Southern only California, there's only one season. But okay, yeah. well, that's not the correct answer. I know. Answer. It's All not right. the correct answer. You still have two chances. All right. Who was the person that was named in 2013 by Time Magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world and was Don't, once sued by a uh, member of Jim, the Big Three? Uh, Jimmy Kimmel. That's exactly right. Scaremaster sued him. Okay. There you go. <sighs> okay. In 1991, who was the manager at the Appleton Boulevard Meineke Muffler Shop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin? <laughs> it um, wasn't Walter Molinski. No, or it was it? Earl the Dick <laughs> Wilson. So he, he fucking wins ears. all the money. So, sorry, I didn't mean See, to curse. He fucking... The D word. He was the D word. Okay, it is Earl Ears Wilson. Yeah, and he gets or all the money. He would have accepted See? Andy Wilson. All right, there you go. Well, you at least tried. You didn't, even, one. you didn't get one thing. I feel like we should split this money all up, though. You want to double your money? Yeah. Okay, how about if I double it and then we'll split it? Not wait, because there's nope. five now, and it'll be easier for us to split a thousand. Okay, why don't we do this? I'm going to do this. I'm going to write on the back of that card. Oh, let me see this. We'll get this in a second. Let me see if we have any. Oh, here's a blank card. All right, what I'd like you to do, I want you to think of a number between one and 100. Okay. Now, if you want to go double or nothing, I say I can guess that number. And if I do, I get all that money. If I can't get it, I will pay you $500. How do about if play? I guess the number? I just told you how we're going to do that. Are you going to put up $500? I'm not putting up a dime. Okay, I'm putting up $500. Okay, you put up the 500 bucks. Okay, do you want to do this? All right, think of a number between 1 and 100. Okay. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to write that number down. Okay. Okay. All right. You Can know. I guess the number? No, you can't. You're not putting up any money. <clears throat> All right. Tell me when you've got it down. Tell me when you've got it down. Is it written yet? Psst. What are you Psst. doing? Yeah, I wrote it. Okay. Hey. Let me just. Okay. So is that what you say? Yeah. All right. Let me. Let me. Sh okay. All right. <laughs> it has to be. be All right. So just so you see, Perry, here's the number. Okay. Okay. And there you go. Okay. Now, Mole, yeah. first of all, I don't think that you did a number between 1 and 100. Oh, that is, well, whatever. But I, I'll bet I know, knowing you the way I do. What do you think it see. is? What do you think it is? Look at me. 420. Because the number is showing... It's showing right as he... He got it. He said 420 because you flipped the damn card over so you can see the number 420. Why don't you shut the Why should I shut the fuck up? I just had money for a little bit. Mary Jane, there's some... Oh, some other cards. Hello, Mary Jane. All right, you want to... Well, these are from the fans. You want to read some of these? Here you go. Oh. What is the world record for leg press? From the Omaha Hair Club. I don't... I don't... 
no right, rules. Got to be a, hundred. I think it's a thousand nine hundred ninety nine pounds. Okay, this is another trivia question. Maybe Perry could answer this. All right, what is Perry's Wi Fi number from David Gibbs? Wi Fi number. Yeah, he uses his uh his phone number to remember it. Yeah. Um. Uh, what team won the second Super Bowl? Rob Rogers wants to know. Scaremaster. Know. Do you know what team won? What year? He, he just they didn't the say second that. Super Bowl. Second Super Bowl. I don't know what who. Wins. I don't. I know. Dan? I know who won the twentieth Super Bowl. I know who. The Packers. That's the right. Green Bay Packers. All right, Perry. What do you think about the big three fans wanting to have a class action <coughs> lawsuit against you for blocking them on Facebook and Twitter? Oh, Dustin Hedberg. Go for it, Dustin. Okay. Well, this is fun keeping in contact. Would Perry have a sex change hey, to Mary Hulk Hogan? Tell Dustin uh, to go back to, to Facebook and see if he's blocked anymore. Oh, that's nice. You're going to let him back in? Everybody but one asshole has been let back in. Who's the one asshole? Well, who, who's the one that always writes in here and always says that I'm gay? Huey Craig the Third. And? I don't know. You don't know. Who's the other Who? person? Um... Uh, uh, Dimitri Moreland. Oh, that guy likes you a lot. He really does. Yeah, he's like not you. being let back oh, on Facebook. He likes you. He likes you more than I you don't can give possibly a flying imagine. Fuck. All right, we've got another one here. Did Perry flush his baby diaper? Why is he blaming some lady, Eddie Torres? No, no answer to that. Baby diaper. Yeah, you were the one that I'm took trying... someone else. Yeah, somebody flushed. He's From the third floor. He's saying you did. I, I don't wear a diaper, one. Number two, I don't have any babies that live in my apartment. Number three. When are you going to have another child, dude, and give oh, your daughter a little baby wonderful. brother? That would be the greatest how do I know thing if ever. There, how do I know if that my, uh, 20, my, my kid will be 24 this October? Hey, by the way, I thought today we were all supposed to wear shorts. How come you're not wearing shorts? Oh, can I talk about that a little bit? Yeah, go Nobody ahead. told me. Well, we had a shorts incident that happened a few weeks back. Scare match, would I you like to explain what happened? You grab the... Can I explain? <laughs> Perry accidentally slipped. Mm-hmm. I tried slipped to blame nowhere. You. Uh, I was you trying to help him my, up. You grabbed I'm my trying back to help you pocket. Up. That's not the way I remember. You grabbed my back no, pocket. I tried to help you. And you ripped the fucking shorts. Don't remember it that way. Don't remember it that way either. Oh, God. Two liars. Two people that want to fuck me. Of course. I don't want to fuck you. Why would you even say fuck that? Fuck me over, fuck me. I don't think that's what I said. Perry, I have a box in front of me. And what do you think is what do you think is in here? I have no idea. Can I guess? You want to bet five hundred dollars I can guess? Go ahead. This is the way I think. Because I know you very well. You are such a sweet, warm person. That even though it wasn't your fault at all, you remember how Perry was up, so upset about getting his pants wet. Yeah. Wrapped. So what you did is you went out and bought him another pair of shorts. Okay, Scaremaster. Yes, sir. There might be a pair of shorts in here. Do you know what size waist I have? Well, they might be a 36. Good. The other thing is, there might also, um, you might also be able to trade those shorts. For the shorts I'm wearing, Ooh. or the shorts Dan's wearing. Yeah. Why would I want to trade? Because these are cool yellow shorts. That's one Dude, reason. Both of you. You know, I both wear thirty six. Both of you. Bo- bo- both of you. <laughs> both of you. Both of you Say guys. Okay. Say it again. Dude, Wait. both of you. <laughs> oh, no. Both what of are you. those? What are those? Yes, I'm a 36 waist. Okay, here, pass it over to Scaremaster. Thank right, you. You want to see? Scaremaster, no, no, Dan, you Scaremaster. Come on, Dan. Thank you. Now open those up. Okay. Let's see how I know I'm an asshole to you at, at times. To, to who? To everybody. You. What did I do? Oh, oh look okay. at those. Uh, let's see. We got cargo 36 in the gap. Let's see what we got here. Thank you. Thank you very. Thank you. <clears throat> Wait a minute, $44, $45 plus tax? Well, he said his were really yeah. expensive. Yeah, mine were expensive. Those weren't expensive. Hey, can these are much stronger. Look at how the pockets don't. Dan. Dan. Yeah. Dan. Can I have my shorts, please? 
Dan. It seemed a lot. It seemed a lot. Can, to you know what? There, there did come with a caveat, though, and that was that everybody wanted to see those shorts on you. So, scare mask, can you try those on real quick? Yeah, just try them on over there. Just, just go, go over there. in the corner. With it. I'm not Manic. taking my clothes Perry, off. Just, just, just no, I'm not Turn around Perry. and just turn around. Perry. Be a professional, man. People want to see the shorts People on you, dude. People want to see the shorts. It's a Who nice wants gift. to see the shorts on them? I know I do. Everybody here except the camera people that work here do. All right, just go over in the corner so people can't see. Well, me. you know what? Go. I got to go to the bathroom no, and change just because go. I there. wear Scare Master. I wear no underwear. Dan and right. I so will I continue. Don't. We'll, continue we'll continue the show with I'm not you. changing in front of Perry, this crew. Not even you guys, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Everybody there, turn around. Okay, don't. Just look. hurry up, Scare Master. We don't have a lot just of time. Go right left, over in the dude. corner so you're not on camera. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. All right, well, anyway. Oh, that was really a nice thing you did, Mo. Thank you very much, Mo. You're welcome, buddy. Hurry up. I know how much you like shorts and cargo shorts. That's why I wore mine today for you. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Hey, Dan. Yes. Can can you and I talk for a second while while Scare Mess has his wardrobe changed? Absolutely. Now, listen. um, I know that that he got a special present because his shorts got ripped, but I also thought it would be nice if you got a special present because on account of, you know why? Why? Because of on account of, it was your special birthday. Well, last week was my birthday. That's right. So while Scare Master's in the back having a wardrobe change, we I am going to uh, uh, give you a birthday present. How oh, does that sound? you don't sound? have to do that. That's a sweet... This is why you are a good human being. Uh, no, you're really a cool guy. Okay, hold on. Let me get it. Right. Hold on a second. You're not joking. This isn't to get my hopes up and then you Listen, say there's no... there's some precedent. things I just don't joke about. There's <laughs> something I definitely... <laughs> well, like, name some other okay. things you might not joke about. Um, I don't joke about... Um, uh, Birthdays. Okay, which um, I had one last week. I don't joke about cargo shorts. All right, which you're proven. Joke today. about apple cherry with tobacco. I'll tell you Wait what. Wait a minute, hold on. What is taking so long? He's getting. He's he's, he's getting it together. He's he has a method. He has a method. A exactly. What is your method? I'm taking my keys out of my pants. How many how many pairs of keys do you have in there? He's got a lot. He's got a lot of apartments. So he's in the process of oh, moving. Oh, that's right. You know? Car keys, uh, house keys, P.O. box keys, um, monkeys, Francis Scott keys. I don't know. It's an old one. Okay. So anyway, back, back, back to me. Here's a present for you. I wrapped it in the big five ad so you could also take advantage of some savings that they have on fishing equipment and on hiking boots. Let me just say this, Mole. And bathing suits and, and, uh. Boogie boards. You know, whatever it is, I'm sure I'm going to like it. But I have to tell you this. Just the fact that you thought of me on my birthday is the sweetest darn thing ever. Put it there, Mole. You got You're my it, friend. Bud. You're my friend. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> it's, a, it's an apple cherry with tobacco smoke. And look on the bottom. Look what it says. It ain't quitting. It's an it ain't quitting power hitter. <laughs> it ain't quitting. Mole, that is the coolest thing. It's in it's ever. got a lizard on it. Oh yeah. And uh and What's some this apple, in here? apple cherry with tobacco. And it says Yeah, yeah. it's Louis the thirteenth. It ain't quitting. Uh, and uh, seriously, Mole, that is really nice of you. You're welcome, buddy. You are hey, my you friend. Use that in good health. And Scare master with the new shorts. Oh, Let's and, see, buddy. And ready to go. Oh, those look pretty good on him. All right, why don't you just throw some of that down? It took about 15 minutes of time to switch your shorts, and we have some show we've got to finish. Yeah, look how he's showing them off. Nice. Oh, looking good. Here, let me see. What? God damn. What? I just wanted to see. You just got him. Grabbing my pat, my. All right, here's a question from some of the fans out there. How many uh, guests can we bring to Perry's Chili Cook-Off? This comes from a Jordan Lee. Sorry. How many? It's. It... <laughs> you want a plus one. Whoa. Being a plus one. I was joking with you. See, come on, scare master. Just I think he finds those shorts not, irresistible. Not joke, okay? What's that? It's not a joke. What? I'm sticking a thing up my ass. Well, you know what? You know what I think is not a joke is you talking with your back to the microphone so no one can hear you. Why don't you sit the fuck down so we can get on with the show, please? By the way, if you want something read, feel free to go to the comment page and we'll read it on the air. Mary Jane, do we have anything else in there? Okay. Well, we'll keep writing. Let me get his headphones back this on. This is really cool. All right, Perry. Well, thank you for taking so long. 
those are. I will. I will be changing when the show's over. I will be changing back into my regular pants. But you know what, Mole? I want to thank you again. Hey, you're Very welcome, nice. buddy. Very nice shorts. They look good on you. They thank look you. great. On, not good. They look great on thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, wait a second. Is that a phone call? Can you send that phone call through for us, please? Hey, good lookings. What you got cooking? Hey, oh, Miss Harry. Hey, Mr. Adams. Hey, Mr. Adams. What a magical eve it is. I'm looking at you gents on my Tandy computer right now, sitting around in my trousers. Perry, what is it you're wearing? What There's is it you've got? I'm wearing thing. the shorts that Mole just bought me. Listen, I love it. I love your style. I love your clothing. You know this. I only wish there was less of them. <laughs> Stop. You know what, Mr. All right, Adams? All right. Listen, gents. I've prepared myself for the worst, but I'm ready for the best. Have you all been working on your dance routine for the big Windy City? Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that down. We have it down pretty good. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm, I, I'll tell you, I'm tickled pink to hear it. Tickled pink. Now, what I've done is this. I've come up with an upbeat tune for the entire cast this week. And what I would like is I'd like you to incorporate the move into the song. Is that possible? Absolutely. Yeah, sure, possible. why not? Definitely. Wonderful. And Possibly? as per usual, I'm guessing nobody else has a tune. I right? do. I got a song. All right, Walter. All right. Okay, Proceed. Dan, Dan, help me out. Brock. Yeah. Ing. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. Brocking bird, bird gonna bird, smoke bird, some apple cherry with tobacco, crush up a bunch of pills. Gonna eat smoke bird. out of apples. You guys are hooked up enough, enough, He's enough, gonna enough. Uh, Listen, if I wanted to hear terrible music, I'd listen to Wanda's demo. Oh. This is VPN. We need stone. We need our star. Am I right, Scare Master? Okay, Am I right? Okay, what do you need? Yes, of course I am. Of what course kind of, I am. Which band? Right. Uh, gents, everyone, on your feet. On your feet. Take your places now. Take your places. As always, as always, VPN has no actual juice to squeeze us out a real tune, so we must go with public domain children's tunes. Understood? Yes. All right. Well, let's begin. Perry, I'd like you to begin, and I'd like you to have fun with it. This is a classic, classic that all the kids love, and let's begin. Are you ready? We'll yes. Begin. That all depends on if I have a copy. There we go. It's called This Stone Man. This, this stone old man, man, he played one. He likes having lots of fun with a knick-knack. Randy Jack, give the stone a bone. He'll slurp it like an ice cream cone. This stone man, he played two. That's not the guy that Perry blew with a knick-knack. Randy Jack, stone will not be blown unless it's for a sag voucher. You know what, Wandes? <laughs> Wandes did that. Wandes, I'm disappointed in you. That's just, you put that in there just to upset Perry. Perry, I apologize. He's just, he's having too much fun with these lyrics. How about this? Let's let Big Lou take a crack at it. Yeah, Big Lou, how about do you do this. a lyric? All right, All right, okay, cool. Let's try that. Let's mix it up a little bit. Okay, here we go. This real man, this real man he, he played, played three. three. I'm Big Lou, Lou Stone's enemy. enemy with a crack, whack, broken back, filthy Javaho. Stone's always ready, ready to blow to some blows. Dudes, you know what? <laughs> Again, Wanda's, it's upsetting. It's upsetting. Um, <laughs> one all right. Just read one. I, I, can, can I do one? I hesitate to ask, but how about this? Um, Walter, I Walter do one. you try one. Walter, this, try this one. old man, he played eight. He got a bunch of apple cherry with tobacco and crunched up a bunch of pills <laughs> and smoked them. Yes, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not really working. I see where it's working. going, Walter. All right. You know what? Um, let's just do this. I'm just going to put the music on and let me just see the dance move. Yeah. Yeah, master. Clapping and spinning, clapping and spinning. Yes, oh, I like that. Clapping and spill. Move it, move, show me those moves. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, well, I think the whole thing needs work, actually. I think the whole thing needs work. I pretty did, tight. I did right. honestly love it, but uh, Wanda's does seem to be off with the lyrics. I don't believe we should be publicizing Perry's sexual predication. Do you agree? Uh, look, now listen, agree. I'm not gay, on. you From know I'm not gay, you guys Something think I'm gay. Else I'm excited about. I was back home across the pond recently, oh, and I'll tell you something, the big three are everywhere in London town. Really? Right? Like where? That's right, now I took some pictures, I took some pictures, I sent along some photos to show, take a look, take a look. Let's see. Okay, Here's we're not one. seeing them here. And look, look, I saw your face there. Oh, we're nice. Here's them. another, and look Looks at nice. this one. And let nice. me ask you, what do you think of this? Keep them coming. We're That's nice. And there once more, and again. That's and again nice. Again and again and again. Petty everywhere. What do you think? Uh, uh, we can't, well, I, I can't really see Well, I will tell you, there is here. no such thing as bad publicity, except for my public lewdness charge a few years back. But Petty, 
It is nice to see your face plastered everywhere. I personally would love to plaster your face. (laughs) Ah, That's a good joke. That's a good joke, Scaremaster. What are you you doing? There are no time for jokes. I'm changing. I want to go back into my pants. Okay. All right, fine. Where where did the mallard uh, uh, go when it got sick? (laughs) To the doctor. What's happening? Simply the worst. Two stomachs. You're naked. Scaremaster, why are you naked on my TV? Perry. (laughs) Perry, what are you doing? (laughs) Perry, what are you doing? We're on TV, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> You're naked. You're naked on TV. This is outrageous. What do you, Perry? We're not. How are we assholes? Professor, <laughs> you know that this is on the worldwide interweb right now, right? <laughs> They're gonna have to block you out. By the way, how's a guy fuck with a dick that small? How do you do it, Perry? You're on fucking TV. Sit down. So does this mean you don't like the shorts? It means that I'll wear them when it's time to wear oh, the gotcha. shorts. Okay. Right now I've got clothes on. But I don't ch- want to have change back problems. into the shorts. For a minute. Yeah, just change no. into the shorts for a second. The shorts look good. We're all wearing shorts for God's sake. Go in the corner though. Don't strip in front of the entire world. Come on, Scaremaster. Be professional, for okay. God's sake. All right, I think we I think we got to just oh, that, soldier on. That was <laughs> really thrown for a loop. Kind of shocked I mean, me there nice myself. I have a nice gift and all. Yeah. What, why did you take your pants off on TV? <laughs> Explain to everybody. Can you can you tell us what went through your mind? Talking to the fuck. We're on a show, Perry. Simon! Perry! Here, let me help. You were like that streaker at the Oscars. Perry, just talking to my Perry, can you talk? Why did I change? Because, you know, it's like he doesn't want me to go anywhere. He won't let me go into the bathroom to change. So I gotta well, you right can wait here. till after the show's over. <laughs> Could have waited the 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't think it was that necessary right then. There, you, you it's always know, necessary. You know what? That could be your signature move, Scare Master. Like you go to the red carpets and people go, who, what, who are you wearing? And you, and you go, and you just, absolutely nobody. <laughs> and you just drop your pants. An excellent idea, Mo. Yeah, right. That won't happen. Why? You don't think you'd be nominated? You know what will happen? What? I'll go to jail because I'm because of me. To uh, being too outrageous? <laughs> People They'll get it though. Throw me in jail. Uh, not if it's your because it's public display out in fucking public. I know that somewhere there's a hidden meaning. For some reason, you did that. What is it? What is it that you did? <gasps> oh, it? he it's, was given a code. He exactly, was giving somebody a message exactly. with his with his touch. You know what that? But that was look. That was a jab. I wasn't. I wasn't oh, turned on by right, anybody like, here. Smell my rear uh, end like dogs. Yeah. Get the fuck. <laughs> Interesting. I'm you know how what? dogs show you each other what? their you know touches. Don't talk shit about Perry. You just Jehovah's in, Witnesses. You just stripped in front of a bunch of people. You kept telling you can't no, go I didn't anywhere tell, with it. I said go over there gotta, in the corner out of, and then you just did it right there in front of everybody. What difference does it make? Okay, two feet away. Oh, Mary Jane's got some more, some more comments. Hello, Mary Jane. Oh, God. All right, you want to read some of these? Hello, Mary Jane. Here, uh, what junior high school does Perry have out now? Oh, excuse me. What junior high does Perry hang out at now? Scaremaster. This is from 7722. Okay, that's his former address. Mole, well, you want to read one of these? Sure. Okay. Perry, can you please give us your recipe for spaghetti and sausage from RJ Strocio? Colombo Tron 19 says. Can Wait, we got to get that recipe for spaghetti and sausages. Okay. I don't give a recipe away on. on- oh. On, oh. uh, Some things you like to keep private, yeah, like the, not your not your genitals, <laughs> but your spaghetti and sausage recipe. I gotta tell you, that really did throw me for a loop. Yeah, <laughs> that was one thing I didn't expect. I think we just lost our uh, G rating. Yeah, and your your hand up my ass is the other thing. My hand wasn't up your ass. Oh, okay, yeah. here's another one from Columbotron19. Can Perry and Don have a staring contest? Okay. What have I got to win out of it? You want to bet some money? I got five hundred dollars. And you want to bet any money? I don't have a dime. Okay. Got anything else, Mo? Perry, what dogs do Javahos worship the most? Now that's that's Look, an interesting asshole. question. Look, it's asshole! An interesting question. Get... That's from Bro Nine Seven Seven Nine. Now he just wants to know yeah, which dog. You just tell him which good. breed. There, there's no dogs. Poodles. There's no poodles? dogs. That's what you had, Great toy names. poodles, that right? We, that, there's Great no dogs that we worship. Dog? There's no dogs okay. we worship. What was your dog's name? Cricket? That was my 
the toy oh. poodle when I was a baby. Okay, so enough said. It died when I okay. was seven years okay, old. So right. now we know. God. Well, okay, so we're going to take Help. some more of your comments in a second, but you know what? Now I think it's time we go to something that people have really enjoyed. It's the best thing that we do here on the VPN show. This is where we call it our classic big three moments. This is where we go back in the 21 years we've been together and show you some old video footage. Now, one of the things that we got a lot of mail about since we started this show, they love the relationship between Perry and his first lover, Sheba. And she was not my lover. Did you that make love to her? That was a bitch that you. That was a bitch that you forced that on I me. I forced on you. How did I force it on you? Just out of curiosity. She's your meal ticket. Yeah, She's but your meal that ticket. That was after you made love to her because that the first, was before the very, I made it. No, the very first time that you ever got together. Tell me if I'm wrong or right on this. The very first time the two of you guys were ever together, you read some scenes from movies. That night, you drove her home and you made love to her. I had True or sex false. with her. True or false? I didn't make love to her. I just fucked her. The very her. first day, you made love to her. <laughs> All right, Scaremaster. Oh, God. Well, Help. He, here's a scene that we've had you act at one point, and I had nothing to do with this. You were to propose marriage to her, and I got to tell you something, Mole. You might want to turn your head because this gets pretty damn hot if you would roll that first classic big three moment what's that what i can't look at you look at me okay i'm looking at you yes that's too easy why whoa What are you doing, Scaremaster? Whoa. Look at the hand. Look at the hand. That is smooth as shit. Oh. Whoa, Scaremaster. This you like it so much? It's look at me disgusting. Force, look at me how I forced you to do this. Yeah, she really... was so fucking bony and gross. Right. It was gross. She's, she seems like she's trying to get away from you. <laughs> look at the hand. Nice little yes. scare master. <laughs> Oh. What a birthday gift that would be. Pa, you can't get enough of kissing Boy. on her. Uh, the the beginning. That's the entertainment. Beginning. I think I was stoned in that oh, scene. Just the way I like to light things, you hear? Wow. Wow, scare yeah, I think you guys made I me fucking hire as a kite. I, I don't think that's do that true. Scene. I don't think that's true, Perry. And I don't... Did you see me touch him at all? Did you see me force him? No, no, he was touching on, on Sheba. I was, suck, I was all over Sheba. You really were in love with her very much. Uh, I was not that's in love what, with that's her. Your hands were sure yeah, in love with her. God, oh my God. You're in love with kissing on her face. Oh, absolutely, and that hand It's called motion. acting. That, oh, oh, you were acting. Oh. So when you put that hand in there... That was a smooth fucking move. It's called acting again, but I'm not. Sheba did so not. So you're turn acting for that video? <laughs> yeah, of course. The actors act for the for the camera. That's why you did that. But I thought you couldn't do pornography because of SAG. That well, wasn't not, porno. That was Close. almost 21 years ago. Was that? That was not porno. No, I don't. I don't know what it was. I just that was know this. something that you. That I did. Again, you're blaming me. I'm what did blaming I do? What did I do to you? You had the camera crew there. Yes. You had a script for me to read. You had yeah. a script for her and to read. And you went off and you kissed her and you didn't stop kissing her. You tried to put your hand 
upper skirt. That's because what I that was what the instructions no. were. You know what? I will say no. something. No. May, may, I, may I say something don't here? Don't lie. But wait a minute. I want you to hear this, but don't fucking lie. I did not tell you to do that. That was you that did that. That wasn't the instructions that no, I was given. No, absolutely not. What were the instructions that I was given? Just a second. Mary Jane. Mary Jane has a little something. Did the script say go home with her afterwards and have sex with her? Good point, Mary Jane. Thank you, because that's what you did. Now, Mole, you had something you were I would say. like to say, she... Scare Master's getting a lot of criticism for being all randy, if I may, during that scene. But the truth is, um, at least he kept his pants on. Yeah. And did. that, whenever that happens on camera, that's always a good thing. Yeah, he didn't do you that know. here. The guy loves to take his pants off. Well, that's not the only big three clip here Where's we have today. Where's the shorts? I don't know. We'll find okay, them. I guess. We'll I find guess. them. Mary Jane took over something. Everything's fine. Don't you worry about it. Okay, we have another clip here. And this clip, this is two years after you guys had met. We went somewhere and you guys were talking and you talked. Honeymoon? After who it met? It wasn't a honeymoon. Yeah. Because after, after this whole thing happened between Sheba and Perry, they both started fighting. I think Perry s lures them in with his suave Italian Javahu style. They fall in love with him. And then once Perry plants his seed, he gets away as quickly as possible now two years later they met up at a meeting that we had this is perry and sheba talking a little bit and we hear about the time that they made love if you would roll that second clip please he, he forced me into having sex with him that what <laughs> what yes he did you forced what? him to stay at your house what no, I didn't. why I don't we get this me. off our chest why did you keep you said, saying, oh, don't leave me, right don't hallway. leave me? I mean, did you leave when you said, and I bought you dinner and everything, and you were right out of the hallway, and you said, I swear to God, if you don't let me come back in, I'll ruin your comedy oh, career. Oh, my God. You said that, Perry? You're what a lying shit. Of shit. That doesn't God. sound like you. You saw it. Wait a second. Shit. Raise your hand. You're a lying sack of fucking tomatoes. I swear, on my mother's grave, said, I swear. Oh, walk with me down to the basement so I can wash my clothes. You don't even have soap to wash your clothes. All you're doing is put them in a hot fucking water. Rinse them off. I'm not washing your clothes. This is rinsing them off. Hey, wash. That's exactly right. What do you think that is exactly? What do you think it is? He's got all this negative hostility towards me because I would never go out with him again or see him again. I would, you would never do it? No. Yeah. Excuse me. Wrong. Yeah, see, I it's easy for you it. to say that now, but that's not what you said before. I would never do it. So it's the truth. I would never step foot in your place ever again. I would. You don't even know where I, I live now. I'm, I moved. I'm damn glad. I moved. I have a security alarm buzzer. I'll just get that fucking shit away from my face, you son of a bitch! Now what I want you to do is I want you to go up and I want you to tell her that you're sorry and I want you to give her a hug. No. no. Tell her <laughs> See? Give her, give her a hug. Give her a hug. Right. Force me on her. Just give her a hug. Sorry. All right, give the hug. Yeah. Hug one another. Right, give her a hug. Give the hug. She's been tested. She's fine. Perry, give her a hug. Me. Give the hug. Okay. Both of you. Oh. oh. There we go. There we go. Now that wasn't so hard. I want you guys friends because, Perry, I'm not going to say it in front of everybody. Oh, yes, as a matter of fact, hard. I am. She go was ahead. your meal ticket. All right, I, there it goes again. Right, she was my meal ticket. And she was. It's nice that you still say that, though. That is kind of Sheba sweet. She was still not my meal yes, ticket. Yes, she was. If you weren't good yeah, to her. Yeah, she's my meal ticket because that's all you kept saying. If she hadn't passed away, she would still be your meal ticket. Please. She was the star. She was no star. Oh, much better than you. She didn't take her clothes off in front of a VPN studio. He's got a point there, Scaremaster. Uh, I, I try on the shorts. Try on the shorts. We want to see the shorts well, let's on get back you. Back to Sheba. It seems like that she tried to get rid of Sheba was a bony, drug addicted pig. That you okay? made love to. That I fucked. I don't know, Mole. Made I, I love to. I don't, 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 don't even. I don't, know don't even dis I don't disrespect know. me by uh, saying how about I made love to this Sheba. pig. This 
47 pound pig that stood about five foot four. She was so goddamn bony you could count every fucking bone in her body. Oh, good from one. From skull how, to how bo- toe. How bony was she? How I just told you. Oh, well, give another one. Well, there's got to be something nice about her because you did make love to her. And when you were kissing, I fucked that, seemed, her. that seemed like a passionate that kiss. That passionate, so-called passionate kiss was so- was fu- fucking part of the scene that you had me. St- I never. That said was a, that you were the script. Kiss. I never told you to kiss her. That actually, to tell you the oh, truth, that was lie. not a script at all. Uh, it was a part of the that script. That was an improv thing that Mary Jane, you saw the whole oh thing. Oh my God. Mary Jane, lady, oh, once yeah. again, Mary Jane. Yeah, she saw the whole thing she five yes. years later. What was the movie that we showed previously on VPN? Oh, with that that lady who go in that movie? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Mary played Robert De Niro, and Sheba played his mother. You no, guys no, know. Was, you guys know. No, that wasn't Robert De Niro. That was uh, Dog Sorry. Day Afternoon. Yes. Al Pacino. Perry, there were two scenes that were from movies with actual scripts. That was improvised. That was okay. you got there were interviews and then you guys did that. That okay. was improvised. Thank you, thank Mary you. Jane. Thank you. So what she did is you're thanking her because she just proved that you lied to that the I VPN audience. Yeah, you that improvised, improvised making the script. Out. There was no script. no script. I improvised the scene from one of the best Scare movies Master. out there. You know what? I got to tell you Face something that's truth. weird. Scare it's Master, called, are you afraid? I'm an improv specialist. He is. He's an improv specialist. He's an introducer. I mean, I mean, what do you want me to, to say? I would like you to just admit the truth. The I didn't truth do of anything. what? I you, think maybe the truth will come out with a little, uh, maybe some role playing. The, the truth, the truth of. Oh. <laughs> oh no! 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 You're not gonna make Don Sheba. No okay. fucking way. Oh, Mary Jane has a, another one of these. Does Perry prefer Denny's bathroom glory holes or Burger King's play places for his sexual pleasure? He hit a Wendy's you know today what? on the way here. This comes from Dylan Benson. What happened at Wendy's? On the way here, he's like, I got I, I can't go yet. I can't, give me to a men's room. Give me to a fast food men's room. I'm like, all right, dude. He's like, I just got to I gotta get right. I got to get right. And he's like, there's a Wendy's. Quick, pull over. And Wendy's was scare master, true or false. You were like, get, get, I got to get to a fast food men's room. And when you didn't make I that turn get real to quick. I got to get just a restroom. Any, any restroom. It doesn't matter. He just had to get to a men's room. He was <laughs> And out. when you didn't make that turn quick enough, he's like, he went "I gotta crazy. get to a men's room now." He was screaming and yelling for no reason. And then we got to him to a men's no room. No reason. And suddenly he felt all betters. Oh. <sighs> no reason. What happened in that men's room today? I'm 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 fucking plugged. What? It was a false he alarm. Got, I'm you plugged. Got, you got plugged up. <laughs> you Who plugged you? I'm I'm I'm. I don't even want to talk about Is it. Is it a meat plug? No, no, no. I think he's having a problem with the poopers. I don't even want to talk about you it. You had Next to poop, subjects. but you, you couldn't poop. Do you have a exactly. lot of cheese in your diet? We're not. Change the subject. Do you have a lot of cheese in your diet? What did I say? Change the subject. What can, we were supposed to talk about something. All right. A lot of cheese talk- in my diet? No. No cheese in my diet. There's no, no dairy in my What's diet. What's the last 18 things you ate? Go backwards. Go backwards as far as you can remember. 18 See how much you can remember. Go ahead. Go. God. It's a mental game. Go! <laughs> Let's see. Today is Sunday. Uh, Last 18 things I ate. Give one thing. An apple, mm-hmm. an orange, mm-hmm. protein shake. All right. <laughs> That's what you got in the men's room. Oh, God. <laughs> You knew that was coming. All right, let's just wrap it up with this. We're going to get out of here real quick. Oh, Mary Jane has another one of these real quick. Well, you want to read this one? Okay. Here we go. This is from Vincent D'Angelo. Hey, it's from Vincent D'Angelo. Could Perry explain the difference between effing and making love? Okay. Making love is when you're really in, interested and very involved with the woman. Ow. Fucking mm. is just anybody. Like a dude. Faggots are like that. That's not the, what we believe. I don't. As believe hate words, dude. Uh, really hate word or not, I'm just like a dude. I'm not. I'm not a homosexual. I'm not gay. Okay. Which one? Let's not classify yourself in any way. I'm a heterosexual. I just. I'm said. a man that chases women. I'm a man that has sex with women. Yeah, but you also show your tushy on the worldwide interweb and go like, Why dudes, check this that? out. Look I didn't this. say that, fuckface. No, you just did it. Basically, did it. 
like this. You put your ass right there so everybody. You don't can think see that's going like, to be oh. everywhere? You don't think people are going to take that clip and just go crazy with it <laughs> and start making little videos of that clip and make and animate it and make memes and make uh, what do you call I, I them? Think, gifs. I think GIFs? Is, How do you say it? Gifs. Mole is one hundred percent correct. I think that everyone is going to oh, jump well. on that one. Well, you know what? I think it's about time that we get out of here. Uh, you know, we've had fun here at VP. I had a blast. Did you? What was yeah. the best part of today's show? Mark? Well, I like watching the old stuff, and I liked William Randolph first, and how nice that was shot with the airplanes and stuff. And I liked, um, I didn't like when Scare, Scare Master took his pants off. No, but I, I didn't like the fact that I was told to change into these shorts. I mean, they're, they're nice shorts. They fit. Everything's good. Um, I didn't like the fact that Don keeps grabbing onto my clothes, whether they're on me or off me. Hey, Perry, make a quick Vine video. Scream when I go now. Now. What? Oh! Okay, that Vine video will be out real quick. And so, listen, I see the big clock on the wall, and it looks as if... Where's their clock? All right, I was actually lying. There's no clock, but I know that we're almost out of time. We... Uh, we're out. So we got to do this. Right here. So, guys, uh, if you want to get in touch with us on the social network, hey, listen to this. I am not only on Facebook and uh, Vine at Don Barris. On Twitter, I'm at Simply Don one and that's the same thing with Instagram. Perry? I, today, got my KNAC page back for uh, How'd you Facebook. How I don't know. I guess they, they sent me an email and saying, here's your page. Who and, did that? Uh, the guys at Facebook. Really? Yeah, they, they uh, cleared my um, my security with my password, and uh, I got my old page back. Oh, fantastic. Are you happy about that? I'm really happy about it. Okay. Um, and then I changed the password, of course. Why? Um, what do you mean, why? He means why, like he doesn't understand why. Yeah, and I was questioning what that meant. When you change your password so other people don't get on your fucking internet. So what's your password now? None of your business. Well, once you, oh, I'll put my fingers in my ears. You tell the people at home. I'll close ba, my ba, ears, ba, too. Ba, 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 I'll ba. put my hands over nah, my ears, really Here's my sick. password. 7722. Fuck you. Wow. Wow, that's not cool. He wow. just bought you shorts. You are the most I, ungrateful piece of I didn't even know what I ever. did. I didn't even know what I did. Well, do you he wants a, my password. I'm at The Real Malinsky. How about this? And you can Shut reach up. me at He's LinkedIn and Pinterest and uh, the Netflix Q. Under Netflix Q, like a, for Windy City Heat, the movie. All right. Well, guys, with that then, it is time to say goodbye to the VPN audience. Thanks for get, coming in and visiting us today. Put it there, guys. Big, Big three. three. Goodbye, everybody. It's a big three live on the BPN. That's the 92 story begins. With Terry Caravello, Don and Mo has the number one public access program. Windy City Heat, movie of the year. Why is the red bat even there? Lost to contract. Penis in the mousetrap. Bringing it back with the big three podcast. Big three live on the BPN. Goodbye, my friend. This is the end.